this delta ring on this barrel nut here. So you have a notch in there for your gas gas tube, and also you uh, void for on your spring. And then you have a Get out. snap ring. Get out! So you need a pair of snap ring pliers to do this. Or if you're graceful, which I am far from graceful. Put it on. See if I can do this in one shot. So you do it. Pushing down on the bottom. And the nail. different kinds. Get off of there, you Chinese piece of shit. Let's see which ones are the most beneficial. Now, you're too big. I can just tell by your heads. I think. I think you're bigger. Too big. Why are some pointed out and some pointed up? I guess for our purposes, we want to do the pointed up one, right? Yeah, so when I. Okay. Let's try this again. And uh, so I, I just deemed it, you know, it's. it's I so would rather leave the front side or outside. intact uh, since I have this spring clip. Uh, oh, it's not here. Now, this you can do this way. with other tools. You can, you can peel this thing off like a key ring, but you risk damaging the spring. So I just, I've had these things, I got these things from the hardware store for like seven bucks. So we're gonna put this guy in here, it's and then when we like pinch it, it's gonna come apart and pop right off. Easy peasy. Yeah, really? Okay. And then uh, the barrel nut and the spring will come off the back. And then what we'll do is we'll take this and put this right back on here without even taking it apart. And then all we gotta do 
is put the clip back on this little groove. There's a groove. I missed right that there. part. We'll so. take this and put this right back on here without even taking it apart. All right, hold on. So, are you saying... so I just I've had these things. I got these things from the hardware store for like seven bucks. Okay, we're gonna so we're gonna put right. this guy in here, and then when we pinch, it's gonna come apart and pop right off. Easy peasy. If I hold this with my fingers and apply forward pressure, you know, what I'm trying to figure out is as I'm trying to get in there with the pliers. How do you apply pressure down on the spring because it's all popping out? I wonder if the more standard ones would be easier to work with. Hold on. Yeah, it seems again. He's using these these weirdo fuckers. He's doing those. Beam boom. Beam bada boom. Hold on. Alright, so he's got his. Let's do what he's doing. Same angle and everything. Right, so he's got his nut on there. Let's use these. Same angle and everything. Obviously, that's maybe it's how I'm doing it too. That's a. Here, my glasses are fogging up. That cat crap sucks, by the way. It doesn't do shit. Okay, my glasses. And he's got that on there. Let me at least put my light back on. Can't see shit because it's fogging up, but it really is time for me to try contacts again. After all that shit and trouble and money I spent on these glasses. For everything I really need them for, they don't do shit because they fog up. Cocksucker motherfucker in tits. Okay. So he's doing that. He's got this primed up. Now, let's see what he says. There, boom. Got a snap in there. Snap it in there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm probably overcomplicating this, and it's like a simple. Motion. So he's all right. So he's using forward leverage a bit. Where's the thingy? There it is. Get this thingy. Put it on. Are these too big or no? Is it good? I can barely see you because you're a blur. Because I can't wear my foggy glasses. There we go. So, I see kind of what he's doing. He's pushing forward. But I don't know, is, how is he, is he preloading it on the bottom? First, I didn't catch that part. It's a pain in the ass. What I'm trying to do is see, can we just align it up and pre-do this part ahead of time? To make it a little easier. We're sure. Let me look at the bends on that metal. Yeah, they seem identical. I don't think it matters. Okay. And this is supposed to wrap around this. This all of this is supposed to press down. But what is it latching onto? I guess it does need the barrel nut itself in there. Right? Yeah, because you can feel it. It moves it out a bit. So essentially... If I do this... Is that it? Is that it? I guess so. Now all this has to align properly. Where's the cutout? OK. 
Okay, okay, all right, making progress. Now, we can slide this. Wait a minute. It's going the wrong way. Okay, now. <laughs> Gunsmithing with Dick America, bitches. Woo, you're welcome, America. Don't do what I do, shit. You're like, it, it doesn't work. What the hell? <laughs> All right, now here's where I'm a little confused. I guess this is where we... Well, obviously, it's got to go on the uh, vice, on the reaction rod, which will be another challenge because this uh, upper, this only, this only upper I ever had a problem with, only goes out to about here on my uh, rod. Every other upper I have, including my other Vialtor Merv, is fine. I bought this second hand. Let's not forget that. I don't know what the guy could have done to it to cause that. I mean, he probably didn't do anything. It's just a weird tolerance issue with this one upper. Alright, so you're in there. Thing is, are these pushed in enough? That's my concern too. Is this in the way it's supposed to be? Or is there too much exposed? Should it be pushed back further? I don't know. See, now that's kind of free spinning. But we can deal with that with an armorer's wrench. Uh, okay. I guess that's how it goes. I want to double check that logic before I lock it down and try to torque it. Um. A bunch of times until you get it on there torqued properly anyway, so there's no point chasing it. There it is, there. But are you pushed in properly? That's my concern. Yeah, it seems to be rigid and in there fine. Yeah, I guess we're good, right? I guess we're good. Because all it's doing is retaining it, right? Okay, alright. So essentially, we need to... Which is a pain because it doesn't go all the way on the reaction rod. I, I still torque, I can get it done, but there's a touch of flex there that makes me uncomfortable. It's supposed to go all the way on the rod, nice and tight, giggity. And, uh. You know. Okay, so. Having a hard time. Okay, where's that? All right, so that's where it is on there. Can I move that whole thing? Oh, where's my dimple? So that would go on this way. And that's got to fit into the hole. Without moving around. Major pain in the dick. Don't forget, this still has to be torqued, so I, you know, I'm just seeing if I can get it on to mock it. To mock it up. So we're supposed to start with 30 foot-pounds. And go up from there in 5, 10 pound increments until we're lined up properly. Like that. That looks too small for that gas port. What am I seeing? All right, so here's where we are. Now I see why I can't get through anymore, because this needs to turn. And I guess the only way we're going to accomplish that is by torquing the nut and seeing where our alignment is at that point, at 30 pounds, and then test it, and then we should be able to finalize, get the gas block back on, and then all we have to worry about is SBRing it.
that we can try to get this rail on here. Never give up. Never surrender. We go uh, in the garage in a little bit, and we're gonna try to get this torqued on. Good times.